and it is collecting data. We're gonna get it back later, ladies and gentlemen, but don't worry. Let's see, meanwhile, what we have in the telemetry. <laughs> <laughs> Aziz, could you show us, show us uh, what's in the dashboard? Uh, it's currently not clear because of the sunlight, but we have saved the recordings and we'll show you all of the telemetry data later on. Okay. Yes. Is it successful? Yes, it was successful. <laughs> Hello everyone, so we are here in Tabaruda, so we are uh, launching our CubeSat. We are so excited to announce that we've successfully uh, done our mission. And thanks to all the uh, team members, the volunteers, the supervisors, the advisors, and uh, the... The South Aviation Club. The South, South Aviation, Aviation Club. Uh, support us in order to succeed our mission today in Tabarora. And, uh, so excited to finally finish our mission. We are from Makar Tabarora. We are from the city of 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 Team Tunisia! Yeah. <laughs> 
Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is me again, Mohammed Gjura, spokesperson and also the programmer of Team Tunisia. Hello everyone, my name is Sami Masmouri. I am the head of robotics division in First Kiss Club and uh, team supervisor for the uh, FGC 2021 Tunisian team. I am 14 year old Ada Hini and I'm a, I'm a volunteer in the First Global Challenge Team Tunisia. I'm a programmer of the FGC 2019 team and supervisor for the FGC 2021 team. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Ben Amor. I'm the team captain and 3D designer of First Global Challenge 2021 Tunisian team. Finally, we, we did it. Uh, we we, we, test, uh, we uh, test our CubeSat and it was very successful. And we're really proud of that, we can't uh, express how proud we are of this. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> the experience. Uh, we are very, very proud to see the, uh, uh, the work of our team finally uh, accomplished and um, we're very glad to see the results come true. Uh, the, all the team members did a great job. We want to thank our mentors and also the volunteers who worked with the team. Uh, also the association of uh, the South Aviation Club uh, in, uh, here in Sfax who came to, to help us launch the CubeSat. Uh, the, the whole uh, journey was, was amazing to work with, uh, with, the, with the FGC team. Uh, working on the CubeSat was also a very enriching experience. We, uh, we discovered a lot of uh, new things, a lot of uh, functionalities of the sensors, a lot of uh, new physics principles. Uh, we understood a lot of about, about our uh, about the air, the air in, in Sfax, and we, we will see later through the data uh, what we can what we can get from it, uh, uh, especially with our very precise sensors. <laughs> Yesterday we tested the ability of like lifting the the CubeSat with the drone. Today was the real test, and it was successful. So as you can see, our CubeSat was completely assembled. All parts were rigid and tight into each other. Uh, the drone did a great job. It flew over 200 meters so far. And it was able to lift the whole CubeSat perfectly. And we are so happy and excited to announce that it was that it has transmitted clear, good data to the ground station. And we did it! <laughs> First Global Challenge Team Tunisia! Okay, so, what we did in the CubeSat? Well, here's the following data that it's gonna get. Well, it's gonna get a concentration of dust in the air with different sizes. You see, there are different sizes of uh, dust particles in the air. We're measuring its concentration. We have the UV light index. We're gonna measure it, okay? It allows us to see how dangerous UV light is. We got the SD card and we got the uh, battery, we got the spark fun sound detector. It gives you the sound level, it tells you if it's quiet or loud. Or... We're also using the RTC module to see the time and the date. And uh, yeah, and that's the pretty GoPro. much it. Yes, we're also using uh, the GoPro. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, so we just launched our CubeSat successfully and we got all uh, of our telemetry data. We're gonna talk in detail about it soon uh, as we saved our recordings. We used uh, the integrated Wi Fi card of the MKR1000 card and an open source project called ThingsBoard to send IoT data to your PCs and to display it in a great uh, to understand way uh, using multiple graphs or digital gauges. All of the technical details will be provided later in our recordings. Thank you so much for watching and first, first Global Challenge Team Tunisia!